is old school. Was that hard to fit? 470 torque. Steve walked around, looked at it, and said, this is the car I should probably build. I'll sign your dash. Hello, and welcome to Gearhead 704. I'm Matt, and I know we're doing Mustang Week coverage, guys. We're still at Mustang Week, but I found a car that's been to Fox Resto several times. He's everywhere. We're gonna talk about it today, but it is. You guys are gonna want this. Just look at the Kenny Bell. You are gonna to wanna to watch this. All right, guys, so I'm here. This is an 88. I'm here with Jim, the owner. How's it going? You're welcome to the channel. Hey, man, how you doing? Good. And how long have you actually owned this car? How long has it been? going on four years now. Four years, yeah. okay. Now, when you got it, how much of this was done? The car was my buddy's years ago. It was a roller, and I helped him build it back about 2010. Okay, and so then, you had your hands in it. Yeah, I had my hands in it. Helped him do the body work and stuff, and then the interior, there's little tricks and stuff on, making the swap and that make. Yeah, because so it's an SN95 interior, right? Right. So, you know, was that hard to fit? Is that a kind of tougher? Uh, you had to take some things out, move it around a couple times, put it back in, take it out. But yeah, okay. the, the big thing is the doors, trying to make the doors work. Because you, know, okay. you got to cut and modify the panels. And there's some tricks to that too. And yeah. You but, did that back in 2010? 2010, yeah. He painted it in 2010, and uh, we've been kind of polishing and cutting it in, trying to keep the road and rock chips off it since then. Yeah. But Because uh, you drive it. I do drive it. Drive it everywhere. He had a 351 Windsor in it that was turbocharged. I put a 306 in it, just built up with a Kenny okay. Bell on it. Yeah, the Kenny Bell, yeah, let's yeah. pop the hood and show them. Right. Guys, actually, behind the scenes, I made him close the hood for a second. <laughs> I've seen this, but that is old school. Yeah, man, it's old school. It's going to the retro meet tomorrow. Is it? Hey, okay, yeah. it needs a good spot at the retro meet. Now, you put the Kenny Bell on it, or yeah, you said you did, I did that. all the engine work, drivetrain, all new rear end, all new transmission. What trans uh, you got in it? I got a T5Z. T5Z? Yeah, uh, you bet. So you said it's a, like a built T5? Yeah, T5Z spec, 306 roller. It balanced out the one gram, four internals, four pistons, four rods, eagle set up inside. Eagle crank? Yep, eagle crank, aluminum heads. Yeah, what heads are they? My older brock heads with trick flow stage two cam. Stage two? Yeah. Okay. Yep. You got long tubes, don't you? Long tube, BBK long tubes, custom exhaust. The engine bay's been shaved? Basically. Yeah, shape, yeah. Why uh, did you go with the, the, the Kenny Bell? I'm curious, because these were the rage back in the day. They were. I had the Ken Bell on a shelf for 12 years. Did you? It was going to go on two other cars, and things happened, and life changed, so I just kept on the shelf, and then finally when I got this car, I said, I know what I'm going to do with it. You held on to so, it. Yep, so there, here it is. This is the first time I've been thinking. The Ken Bell only had 800 miles on when I bought it. Really? It okay. New, so, yeah. Now, how many miles do you think you put on it since you got the 306 all put together? It's got 5,000 miles on 5, it. 5,000, okay. And you drove it down here to Mustang Week? Yeah, or? I drove it here to Mustang Week, taking it to Fox Star with the Fest before. It was up here at FMR, of course. Yep. For the swap meet. What was yep. your drive here? How many, like how many miles, I guess? That's 110 miles. Okay, that's yeah, not too bad. Okay. You got AC, it looks yep, like? Yeah, got AC, fire steering, 100 millimeter map on it. Wow, that's a big got map. 90 millimeter throttle body. Throttle body, I heard that's yep. the best kind. Where did you have it tuned, by the way? Did you have somebody yeah, tune it? Yeah, I actually had Dan at Pro Dino, so okay. I'm not allowed to do it. Okay, yep. cool. What kind of injectors? How big? I'm sure they're pretty they're, big. Uh, 42s. 42 yep. pounds? Four, okay. 42s, yep. And you said you rebuilt the rear end recently, rear too? End. Yep, it's got uh, 327s in it because of okay, the Okay, because of the boost, oh, yeah. right? It needs yeah, that. It just, it don't have traction with those, so anything yeah. higher than that, we're gonna overplace it. Yeah, how does it cruise like at fifth gear? Perfect. Yeah. Yeah, no okay. fucking or anything. That's why the 327s, they're really yeah. gonna help there with that, I would think. Will, yeah. yeah. I get about 2,000 RPM to the 327s. Okay. About 65. That's not yeah. bad. It's yeah. not bad. Let's let you hear this thing fire. What did she make? Uh, real wheel horsepower, you remember? Uh, yeah, when Dan tuned her at the time, we had some issues with the fuel pump stuff. Um, put down 420 at the rear wheels and okay. 470 torque at 2500 RPM. 470 torque? Yeah, that's what the candy bells are doing. It'll throw you back in yes. the seat. Oh, yes, if you get traction. You <laughs> oh, man, if you get traction. Yeah, so I, I run about 25 pounds of pressure back tire. Okay. Hook up. Yeah, what are they? These are 18s, I guess? No, they're 17s. These are 17s, yeah, these okay. Are more rubber, so I, I'm okay. Like and are you staggered set up? What's yeah. your tire size up here? Yeah, 255s in the front. Okay. 275 in the back. 275 in the rear. Did you have, you probably had to get rid of the quad shocks, right? I didn't have to, but I did. I went with different okay. control arms and that. Yeah. 
Hold on, S550 land. S550 land. <laughs> okay, these are 275, and I like that. I've got a little bit too much gap. I need to go to 275 because I got a 245 in the back. I think that looks a little better. It up pretty good, yeah. yeah. You also did five lug, obviously, and is this Cobra brake kit or what brake kit? Rear brakes are just the standard uh, GTs and the front of car. Like, is it 99 to 04 GTs or? 94 to 04. Oh, are they? Okay, yeah, I didn't sure. know that. Okay, cool. Yeah. And why did you go with the uh, the Celine? Well, was it like that already? Yeah, my buddy, when he did the setup, he yeah. had it set up like Celine. Okay. I know part of this story, but take a look at this, guys. Right there. Now, a lot of you are going to think, why did you sign the car Steve Celine? It's not a real Celine. What's the story there, Jim? Well, again, my buddy had the car at car show five years ago, Celine's booth. And yeah. he asked Steve to come over and look at the car. And Steve walked around, looked at it, and said, this is the car I should have probably built. I'll sign your dash. And he sat down and signed it for him. And my buddy's got a picture of it showing Steve sitting there signing his dash. Oh, man. Yeah. you still have that picture? I do. I can, can you send it to me? Today. Okay. We're going to try to put that up here in the video. But, guys, Steve Celine saw this car, said, that's the one I should have built. Signed it. He loved it. That's so cool. That is that is the my favorite part of the car. Just such a unique story there. You bet. Buddy's car, and then like I said, things change, and he gave me the offer to get it from the roller, and I bought okay. it to try and keep it family. And, yeah, because he had a different engine in it, but at that point, it was just pure roller. Yeah, when I got it from you bet. Because yeah. did he blow the other 351? Nope. No. He just moved on. He kept okay. the engine and put another car. And, okay. You bet. So did it have at least just the rear end housing at that point, or it had nothing? No. When I got the car, it was on a rolling chassis. It had the axle. It had automatic transmission in it. Okay. And uh, suspension. And no engine, of course, right? No engine, of course. Start just replacing things and upgrading some things as it went. What do you got suspension wise? You said you got some different control arms. What else? Yeah, the rear control arms are JMs, four motor support, all gears, axles, all that stuff. Mosier rear end, Cobra clutch. Front end is the Honey Shocks, B series springs all the way around, four racing B springs. Okay, like the B springs, yeah. yep. And it's got a good height, especially because you drive it. You don't yeah, want it yeah. too low, do you? No, no, I didn't want to hit. What kind of conies did you get? The orange? The orange or? Yep, yep the orange, orange, okay. Very comfortable. We can't adjust them, but they ride great with lower, lower cars. Yeah. Was the bay already done by him like this, or did you have to do the bay? We did both. Okay. He, he did the bay, then he, he made some openings and stuff for you know, yep. the turbo and the intercooler on stuff. It was a different engine, yeah. Yeah, different engine, so I went back and closed it back up oh, and yeah. did a little bit of mods. The front rack on it's so of a 99 Cobra. Okay. So it's got the conversion rack on it with a different steering shaft. It's got the late model steering on it as well. It's got the three piece on it, custom steering shaft. So. Nice. Yep. I bet it stills pretty good then. Do you have any rub in the front at all? Not at all. Oh, that's awesome. I do, but you said this is an 88. Do you have different fenders or is this original fenders? No, it's fenders? original. Now, the thing is, this is original four-cylinder car, so the K-member is narrower than a V8. Oh. So everything's in, so the key was put 96 spindles on it to help push the wheels out just a little bit. Okay. It gives that clearance. All right, that's what I need to do because yeah. on mine, you can see in the front here, it's tucked a little bit closer right there. Yeah. And uh, it rubs if it full locks. So. Locks it up. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. And then these are uh, a little bit different, unique headlights. What yeah, do you call these? All just smoke. Actually, they're clear. All the clear. Okay, smoke. I say because it's yeah. not just smoked. Yeah, that's cool. All right, well, do you have? You've been driving and enjoying it for like five thousand miles. Yeah. You gonna change anything or is no. this? Gonna, no, yeah. I like that. I like that. Nope. I've been driving for a long time. Yes, <laughs> you gotta enjoy them, right? That's right. That's right. Yeah. That's where I'm at. That's where I'm at with my car right now. <laughs> we're running out of sound here? I don't know what we're running yeah. out of. But... I said I didn't know what we were running out of. We ran out of video power. My power on my camera ran out. It's really loud out here, guys, but awesome car. Awesome time at Mustang Week. So be sure to stay tuned to the channel. Got a lot more content coming. And uh, yeah, too loud. Too loud. It is too loud. One second. But that's gonna do it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please smash the like button. If you're stopping in for the first time, please subscribe because I do upload two times a week, every Sunday and Wednesday. We'll see you here next time on GearHead 704. See guys, this is why I wanted to do a video on this car because as we're talking about it, people swore. Which is why it's a great car, Jim. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah. Hey, who are you? Who's this guy? Oh my god. How are you doing? Actually, I've been doing good. I gotta do something for Matt here real quick. Look who it is. Tell her what you did. I walked by a car, I was like, that's a second air spoiler. Yes, she's shouting you out, buddy. By the way, guys, he sells us spoilers. That's why we were just talking about that. So where can they go to get the spoilers, Matt? 
website, servernatorautodesigns.com. There we go. Check him out. <laughs> you scared me. Give me a little bit. <laughs> so maybe this will go in bloopers. I don't know.